Good afternoon, folks, and welcome back. And uh, what you're looking at right there, of course, is that uh, fiberglass uh, little fiberglass job I did on the uh, side of the hull here in that last video. Uh, you saw me uh, struggling with that in that last video. It did turn into a little bit of a struggle up here just to keep uh, the air from getting underneath the uh, the uh, cloth right here at this radius and so what you're seeing right here is actually where um, it has some excess resin run down so what I was trying to do I was trying to uh, pack extra resin in that radius to get the air out and I uh, just sat there and I worked with that thing just tapped it in with my finger uh, gosh probably for about an hour uh, trying to uh, get that air out and I got it all out uh, what you're looking at right there is not air that's where I've actually I've been sanding on this so that's what you're seeing there now it's, it's, I've already uh, started sanding that out and getting the high spots down in uh, preparation for the next layer of cloth and uh, actually this right here it looks worse than it really is uh, got out here this morning and sanded all that down uh, knocked down the high spots like I said that's just excess resin and uh, so yeah it's, it's uh, a bit of a challenge trying to do one large piece like that by yourself so I'm going to change up my game plan just a little bit and when I get ready to roll out the resin and uh, put this cloth down over here I'm going to do it in two pieces and I've already cut it in half and it's uh, going to end up being about all halfway down uh, right along in here somewhere is where the seam is going to be and I'm going to overlap it all oh, about two inches three inches or so overlap the uh, two pieces of, of fiberglass but um, I'm going to work this in smaller sections and I think I might have almost bit off more than I could chew yesterday like I said that's just an awful lot for one person if I had a helper uh, you know trying to uh, help get that cloth laid out it probably would have uh, gone a lot smoother but as it is uh, I think the best way to go about this now is to go ahead and uh, cut these sheets right down the middle and just overlap them. It, it, I don't think that'll hurt a thing. And just uh, do it uh, in smaller sections. And, and don't try to uh, be so aggressive. And uh, you know, do like you know the entire bottom of the hull at once. Because I do actually have fabric that I've already pre-cut that will cover the entire bottom surface right here, uh, and will overlap these corners by about two inches. So I'm going to do the same thing there. I'm going to take that piece of fabric I might even cut it in three sections I don't know it just depends on how much excess material I left myself uh, at the uh, forward and aft ends if I have enough to do that I'm gonna cut it in three sections I'm gonna work it in thirds and uh, just overlap it so this right here I've already got it back on the, uh, uh, the little piece of PVC pipe right here but this right here uh, this will be the aft piece right here that's gonna go in place right here and uh, over the float pod right there so once I get my grandkids all picked up from school and get everybody here back at the house and, and, and uh, uh, tend to them I'm gonna get out here probably later on this afternoon uh, of course I'm gonna wait until it cools down just a little bit it's uh, all mid 90s so I'll get out here this afternoon and uh, I'll do that first little section right there but I, I think that's just a smarter way to go and uh, I don't have to be in such a rush uh, because even though it's a slow hardening um, catalyst it's still firing off pretty quick and uh, it, it, that one over here on this other side it almost got away from me yesterday and plus when I got into all these struggles right here trying to get that cloth to uh, conform to uh, all these multiple bends um, and it got to be a handful we got it on there and I got it on there just in the nick of time got it on before the uh, resin fired off completely but uh, I'm not gonna fight with that again you know I learned my lesson and uh, like I said I'm gonna cut these pieces up into uh, multiple sheets and uh, we're gonna divide this up into smaller sections when we get ready to uh, lay out this fabric on the bottom of the hull and over there on that other side so folks I will get back to you when that side is done and when I get ready to start laying this out and that's gonna be a few days 
uh, because I like to do that on my days off. I don't like to try to tackle that in the mornings before work because, you know, if you run into complications, then, um, you know, I've already got the fiberglass resin uh, mixed up and firing off. So uh, it just makes it easier and, and uh, makes less work for myself if I do that on my days off. So, folks, I will catch you in the next segment. See you then. All right, folks. I am done with uh, this first piece right here. And this is what I was talking about. I went on ahead and just cut this fabric in half. This and that was one big old long piece. And uh, it, it's just better to go ahead and cut it in two, um, overlap the pieces, and it's still wet. I don't want to touch that. And uh, just work one section at a time, especially when you're working it by yourself. So that worked out really good because I had a lot of trouble getting that fabric to tuck into those radiuses there again. And I think what happens is, uh, you know, the resin, it, it, it's a little bit wet, it's a little bit slippery, and I would tuck it in right here, get it, all the air bubbles out, and then would pull it out of this radius, and uh, just kept going back and forth. Well, what you got to do, what I am discovering, and I am going through a learning curve here, is uh, there's a little time window with that resin. When it starts to uh, gel, when it starts to get really, really tacky, there is a point then, and this is before it's completely fired off, when it gets super, super tacky, you can tuck it into the radius uh, up on top here and then move down and tuck it into this one and get the air bubbles out without pulling it out of the top one. And because uh, once you tuck it in up here, like I said, the resin's nice and tacky and uh, it, it, it's just like you're super gluing it into, the, into that radius at that point. Uh, but like I said, there's a little time window there and you just got to wait until that resin fires off and gets to that point and that's how I'm finally able to work the air bubbles out of all three radiuses and I have a radius right here uh, right below the uh, rub rail have another radius here another radius here and uh, of course a lot of it has to do with the orientation of the uh, fabric but um, it's a little bit of a challenge and like I said you got to be on top of it and uh, you got to hit that resin when it's just right when it's just sticky and gooey enough so like I said you can tuck in uh, one radius right here you can tuck the fabric into one radius and then come down here and hit the next one without pulling it back out of this one so uh, that's that's what we're doing and it, uh, it works way way better uh, like I mentioned working these one section at a time instead of trying to work one big old long piece because uh, this is that curved area right here that gave me fits on that other side yesterday so uh, when I get ready to, to lay this fabric down I won't be fighting this section I can just focus all my attention on this area right here and uh, I think it's just going to work out better this way all right folks I will catch you in the next segment okay I'm back here in just a little while I'm going to get out here and start bonding the next section of fabric to the hull I'm going to go ahead and get the uh, resin mixed up. I'm not going to do that here all right now, but probably probably within the next couple of hours. I'll get out here and do that. And then once that has completely cured, what I like to do is I like to uh, do a little bit of taper sanding on the leading edge of uh, the previous layer of fabric so that I have a nice smooth transition when I lay the, uh, end up down the next layer and overlap that layer over the previous layer. And uh, like I mentioned in that previous segment, I think this is the best way to uh, go about laying down the fiberglass on such large areas. It just uh, kind of breaks it up a little bit, makes it into a series of smaller jobs instead of trying to tackle one great big job. And plus, if I do get into any issues, uh, like I was having with these uh, radiuses right here. It just gives me a little bit more time to uh, get in there and work with those and work the air bubbles out. And I'm not fighting such a large, huge section of fiberglass at one time. So um, that's, that's, that's the game plan. And so here in just a moment, 
I'm going to get that done. I will show you that uh, when that's complete. Like I said, I'm not going to uh, do a a step-by-step -step, uh, video, you know, where I record myself actually laying that down like I've been doing because you saw me uh, do that over here. And I did all the fast forwards and all that stuff. And so kind of get the idea of, you know, how, you know, that fiberglass is uh, to be laid down on that hull, how to, how to laminate that. Over here, I'm just going to show you the end result. So I'll be right back when that's done. Okay, welcome back. That next little piece is done. Um, just finished that up all here about 15 minutes ago. I'm going to swing around here with the camera and go from the front. And it uh, worked out very well. Like I said, it's a whole lot less fighting that you have to do uh, when you start having to uh, deal with these air bubbles in these radiuses right here. Right where I'm running my finger and down here. Um, this one small piece was a lot easier to work with than trying to uh, fight with one big long piece like I did on the other side. Like I said, it worked out very well. Very pleased with this. Once the uh, resin fully cures, I'll sand off this leading edge and just put a nice little taper right here. Just knock the little high spot down. As it does tend to leave just a little bit of a bump right there on the edge of that fiberglass cloth. So we'll sand that down and then we'll just kind of smooth it back just a little bit, 220, 320, you know, something smooth. It doesn't have to be real coarse. And then I'll lay that piece down next and I'll overlap this one by about three inches or so. We'll, the edge of this piece, the back edge of this piece will end up about right here, about three inches from the leading edge of this piece, just like I did back here. Got about a three inch overlap there. And uh, like I said, that's working out very well. I don't think that's going to compromise the strength of that fiberglass one bit. If anything, I think these overlaps are just going to make it a little bit stronger. So that's the way to go. Uh, man, I tell you what, I just, I just made a whole lot of unnecessary work for myself when I uh, laid this down in one piece right here. And uh, you can break this up into smaller jobs and lay it down in smaller pieces and uh, that's the ticket right there folks all right I will catch you in the next segment when I get that piece installed okay I'm back and uh, we're back at the float pods here uh, I had to uh, lay some uh, this four inch wide tape on this corner right here on both of the float pods on these inboard corners and of course that's just to reinforce those corners uh, give them a little bit more strength. I did that oh, about an hour or so after I tacked this piece of cloth in place right here and it's still a little bit tacky. Uh, we've had some cooler temperatures today. It had been up in the mid to upper 90s uh, here for oh gosh about the last couple of weeks and uh, when I tack this piece on and the one on the other side that you saw in that previous video, it was probably all 95, 96 degrees. So the resin would cure very, very quickly. Not so today. Uh, it, it's taking its time. And, you know, it, it, it's, it's going to. It's, it's going to be affected by the air temperature. Uh, it was probably, gosh, maybe 75, 76 degrees today. I don't think my AC ever kicked on in the house today. Uh, it was a nice day. I'll take that any time. Uh, it, it's just a very nice, cool, uh, comfortable day, low humidity. So, like, like I said, I'll take those days any time. But it does slow the cure time uh, for this resin. And so well, all I can do is wait it out. So, with that said, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video. I was hoping to get out here tonight and start sanding down this edge right here. Uh, but that's just not going to happen. I'm just going to have to get that until tomorrow and possibly even the next day, uh, just depending on uh, how quickly this resin cures. So with that said, I do thank you all for watching and I uh, need to go ahead and get this video uploaded and get it edited and then get it uploaded to YouTube. And so uh, that's all I have for you for now. As always, in all things, 
to God be the glory. I thank each and every one of you for watching. I thank uh, all my new subscribers. And, uh, and again, uh, God bless you and good night. Thank mm -hmm. you.